Hey everybody, it's Erica Hauser. I'm the editor of Abode, and I'm here to welcome you to our January issue. It's just out. I um, wanted to point out our cover story this time is about a um, house in Woolen Mills that many of you have probably noticed from the street. It's on Chesapeake Street, and it's just on the corner as you're going to Riverview Park, and it's a big, orange, um, very appealing, modern-looking house. Um, and this month, we take you inside that house, and we talk about how um, that house really set a trend in that neighborhood of um, newer, modern construction. Uh, much of it is driven by local architects who actually live in the neighborhood. And so what we're going to do now is take you on a little driving tour of the neighborhood and point out um, some of those new houses that are cropping up in Woolen Mills. houses that are um, a little bit older. They were built in the 80s and um, Chris Hayes and Allison Ewing, whose house is our uh, featured home this month, told me that these houses, um, which have some passive solar characteristics, um, were sort of a reassuring um, element to them when they were thinking about building a modern house in this neighborhood because they kind of saw that it could be done and it could fit into the mostly older homes that were already here. All right, here's a pair of very modern homes with a lot of green uh, features and these were these are quite new. These are only a year old, maybe two years old. So here is a uh, brand new, um, quite modern addition to the back of a, uh, I believe it's a 1950s um, sort of cottage or bungalow style. This, I think, is an interesting um, blend in woolen mills of, of old and new in the same structure. This is a house that um, Chris Hayes and Allison Ewing um, did a big renovation on, which they completed in 2003, um, and then they sold the house, and um, as you can see, it's got this really unusual barrel roof structure, and there's a lot of living space up there on the second floor, um, and if you uh, look at the four pictures of this house, it's quite a transformation. It was basically a little box before. Here's a house that's being built that's part of the River's Edge development that Hayes and Ewing are um, partners in that, that development. They're involved in the design of many of the houses and they have just overseen the creation of this um, new group of houses that are definitely modern in style and have a pretty big environmental component to their siting and materials and a lot of other things. Here we have the subject of our story, um, the house of the Hayes Ewing family. Um, from this side you can see that the second floor, um, the two main sections of the house are connected by a sort of bridge. From the other side the two sections look a bit more separate. Um, and you can see the screens that they've installed on the sides of this house, and they have a plant called Akivia that's climbing up the screens. It provides habitat for birds, and it just kind of softens the really modern look of the house from this side. Here's the back of the house. You can see the nice big deck and um, yard, although it's a little snow-covered right now, is an um, interesting place in terms of green landscape design. There's a whole water filtering system that is part of the landscape. Here's another house that we have featured in Abode, wrote about it back in October of 08, and um, this 
is the house of Will Kerner and Catherine D. It's designed by Formwork. It's just an extremely modern, minimal style house. So that was our tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, also wanted to point out in our January issue, we've got a new section. It's a kids page, and it's really meant for parents who are trying to figure out how to accommodate their kids and their needs and all their stuff um, in their homes. And we plan on touching on um, families with kids of all ages throughout the course of the year, so from babies to college students. Um, this month we visit with a young local family who's done a great job of solving the clutter problem in their house, and um, keep your eyes peeled for that next month as well. Thanks for reading.